Hello everyone, my name is Giselle and today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire lipstick collection. So grab a snack or a drink, it's going to be a long one. So I'm going to start with brands and I'll continue by brands so that way you guys can just pick up the shades like that. And I will start with the KVD Vegan Beauty. I have the shade Ludwig. The shade is described as a nude fawn and retails for $21. I no longer see it on their website or on the Ulta website. It is only available at Sephora. So this is Ludwig and honestly this is my favorite nude for such a long time until I found Ophelia which will, I will show you next. But it is gorgeous. I just, it's so nice. I just love it. I will be using the Garnier Skin Active micellar water the blue cap one because it's just really good to take off like waterproof mascara or liquid lipsticks so just an fyi i do have dry lips in general so if they start looking a little crusty you know why so next up is ophelia and this is my all-time favorite shade in general and out of all my liquid lipsticks so this shade is described as a fawn nude it is no longer available on their website or on sephora or Ulta, which makes me sad because it's my favorite nude, but oh well. So this is Ophelia, and it pulls a little bit more brown in compared to Ludwig, and it is such a gorgeous color. I love this color. Like My favorite out of all my liquid lipsticks is Ophelia. So this one, I am not sure how it's pronounced, so I will leave it down below. And it is just a soft pink, and it is really cute. Sorry, the shade is also not available anymore. So this is how it's looking and it is like a bubblegum pink. I personally love how it looks in pictures or on video, but in person, I have extremely dry lips as it is, and this just shows all the cracks and lines that I have on my lips. So I have also Backstage Bambi. Backstage Bambi is described as a vivid hot pink, and it retails for $21 as well. I've had this for quite some time it is definitely a hot pink it looks cute it looks nice i can definitely pull this off even if i have dry lips if they are nice and exfoliated not like right now if they are nice and exfoliated i could definitely pull this color off i just haven't used it in a while moving on to the classic lolita this one everyone used to rave about lolita is described as a chestnut rose and it retails for 21 dollars so this is Lolita, and it is such a nice color. I know I'm saying that so much about all the liquid lipsticks, but it is so nice. I'm sorry if it's getting a little rough on the edges. I am trying to do my best, but wiping these off is getting my lips stained. So, sorry. But this is Lolita. And it is so nice, and definitely probably one of my favorite ones as well moving on to a mini this one is called milagro and it is known i think as a pumpkin orange shade this is such a cute shade oh my god i don't think i've tried it yet because um I don't think I have. Oh, it's so nice. It is like, it's orange, but it is such a fun color. Like it's not in your face orange where like you can't pull it off. This is like the perfect October color, I guess. And oh, like if you don't really like dark lipsticks, but you like this, like, oh, it's like a muted orange or something. Well, not too muted. I don't know, like a muted neon orange. Would that make sense? Such a pretty color definitely enjoy it can't wait to use it next i have another mini and this one is nosferatu i believe that's how you say it it is a red nosferatu is described as a blood crimson all minis retail for eleven dollars 
So this is how Nosferatu looks. It is a gorgeous brick red. It's definitely one of those reds that you can pull off a vampy look for it, hence the name, and it applies great. So the last one is called Crucifix, and I haven't tried this one before yet, but I am dying to try it. Ah. Oh. Crucifix is considered a deep chocolate and right now it is on sale in Sephora for $5. Normally it would retail for $20. Wow. It is such a beautiful brown shade on me. It almost pulls like a purpley brown. Oh, I feel like I'm the girls from the craft, you know, the movie. This, this, that's what it makes me think of that movie. Wow. It's just such a, oh, I love it. This is going to be a good fall shade for sure. So I'm going to end it on this one. I do have 30 something more to go or probably 40 to be honest, because crap, I do have a lot. <laughs> so I will continue tomorrow. Okay, so I'm back and today we're going to swatch some Kylie Jenner lipsticks or liquid lipsticks. So the first one I have is Autumn. Autumn is described as a terracotta rose and the lip kit retails for $29 and the singles retail for $17. This is how Autumn looks. It just really looks nice and it does suit very well for Autumn that is coming up. And I really like it. So just an FYI, I did use Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It does come with this little brush. And this I put over at night and it really helped my lips hydrate after eight swatches. So definitely will be using this every night so that way my lips can be nice and hydrated for the next swatches. And next up we have One Wish. One Wish is described as a dusty pinky nude and lip kit retails for $29 and the single for $17. This is how One Wish looks. This is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks that she has. It's just gorgeous. It doesn't settle too badly in my lines. It is just really nice and I really enjoy it. So next up we have Exposed. Exposed is a warm mid-tone beige and it is only available in the lip kit which is $29. I forgot to mention that Kylie Jenner lipsticks do have a sort of sweet smell almost like cotton candy and all of them kind of smell like that um, including this one. But this is how Exposed looks. I believe it's almost like a muted peach, but in a brown, tannish, nudish, muted way. Next up we have 21. And this is how 21 looks. I personally think it's a little bit more on the bubblegum hot pink side. So moving on, we have Bare Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Bare is described as a nude pinky beige. It is only available in the Velvet Lip Kit for $27. So I do love this formula and I actually really do like this shade. I know it looks a little weird <laughs> right now because my lips are already looking a little rough after swatching four shades, this being the fifth one. And I really do love it. Definitely goes great with the liner that it comes with. But I do enjoy this liquid lipstick a lot. I know my lines are showing now a little bit more, but my lips are getting dry. So let's move on. We have Bikini Bod. Bikini Bod is described as a light warm rose and it retails for $16. So this is how Bikini Bod looks. It's honestly one of my favorite formulas in her line. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the blush, like yes, it is the lip blush formula. And this is almost like a liquid to powder formula. I'm not sure how to explain it. It's very soft to the touch on your lips. And honestly, once it dries down, not like dries down, like it's gonna suck the life out of your lips, but once it dries down, it almost feels like you have no liquid lipstick on. So this is Boss Bay and it is another lip blush. So 
So this is Boss Bay. You can definitely build up the color. I just personally like it as a very faint or sheer type of color. So I did swatch seven and I will continue tomorrow. So I'm back and I did forget two Kylie Jenner lipsticks in their bullet form. This is the matte formula in Beach Bum. And this is how it looks. It looks, I think, a little bit more muted on camera. In person, you definitely need a lip liner. It does really bring out all the lines that I have. And next up, we have Paradise Please, which is this color. And this is how Paradise Please looks. So next up, I am going to do some color pop. First up, I have November. And this is how November looks. It is the Ultra Satin Lipstick, by the way. Moving on, we have my favorite, which is Echo Park. They no longer carry the Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks, so these two shades are no longer available. And this is how Echo Park looks. It is such a nice color. This is my favorite color out of the satin lipsticks that I have. And yeah. So next up we have Bumble, which is my favorite matte liquid lipstick from them. Bumble is described as a warm rose and it retails for $7. And this is how Bumble looks. It is like a terracotta brownie red. It's just a really nice color, especially in the fall time that's coming up. I use this all the time in fall. Never fails. Such a good color. Definitely have to exfoliate and all that for these colors because they are drying a little bit. You just have to prep your lips really well. The next one is another ultra matte lip in the shade Moi. And this is how Moi looks. It is a very berry red. It's cute. And we will continue tomorrow. So I'm back and today I'm going to be swatching some Lime Crime. So first up I have a Velveteen in the color Bleached. Bleached is described as a peachy nude and retails for $20. And this is how bleach looks. It is a nice peachy color, a peachy nude, you can say. But yeah, bleached. So next up, I have a lip plushie in the shade Marmalade. Marmalade is described as a sheer nude peach, and it retails for $20. So this is how Marmalade looks. It is kind of like an orangey color, hence the name. And it also is like a lip blot, so they say that when you apply this, you can blot it down with your finger. You can have that little color within the inside of your lip and then it fading towards the outside. I like to apply it like this. I like to have the actual color on my lip, but it is very soft to the touch. It doesn't dry out your lips. And honestly, every time that I wear any lip plushie, I forget that I have it on because it literally feels like nothing on your lip. This is my favorite formula out of all my liquid lipstick because it's just the best and it fades down really nicely. It doesn't leave you any like crumbliness or any dry patches or I don't know, like it just fades away really nicely. It's obviously going to go away with if you eat like a burger or something greasy. It's obviously going to go away, but definitely one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. Next up, we have Melon Smoothie. Melon Smoothie is described as a peachy nude and it retails for $20. And this is how Melon Smoothie looks. This is my favorite shade out of all the plushies. It is just my perfect nude color. It gives me a hint of color, but it also is just gorgeous. And this is Melon Smoothie and I enjoy it very, very much. Next up, we have Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight is a sheer dusty rose and retails for $20. 
And this is how Turkish Delight looks. It is a nice soft pink. You could definitely build up the color. Sometimes I build up the color too much that it ends up looking a little dark on me, but it's still such a nice color. And yeah, definitely love the plushies. And the last one is Milk Tea. Milk Tea is a sheer mauve and retails for $20. And this is how Milk Tea looks. If I want, I can definitely build it up for it to be darker since it is a darker nude on me. But I just like to blot it out, either pressing my lips together or with my finger. And it looks really nice, like a nice mauve shade. And this is Milk Tea. So next up, I'm going to be swatching some Sephora Collection liquid lipsticks. So the first one I'm going to swatch is 09. All Sephora Collection cream lip stain liquid lipsticks retail for $15. So this is how 09 looks. I forgot how intense this color was. Yeah, this is uh, giving me very 80-ish vibes. Next up, we have the color 03. So this is the shade 03. It is a fun red for the holidays if you don't want that intense blue red. It is very sweet. Next up, I have a little mini in the shade 96. So this is how color 96 looks. It is definitely a really nice red for the holidays. And the last shade I have is 04. So this is 04. It is a nice plum color. I know I'm not a big fan of purples, but this is definitely up my alley. I enjoy this color a lot during the fall and winter. And the Sephora liquid lipsticks do last a really long time. But like with any liquid lipstick, if you're eating something greasy, it's definitely going to come off. So the reason I was able to swatch so many was because I took a couple of days off. But anyways, tomorrow. Hi, so I'm back and I'm going to be swatching some MAC lipsticks. First, I'm going to swatch Fruities. And it looks like this, such a nice pink color. So this is Fruities, it is a matte lipstick and it does show my lines a little bit, but it's not that bad. And it is such a nice pink shade. P.S, don't mind my hair, I got out of the shower, I just in my makeup and my hair is air drying right now. Next up we have Runway Hit. Runway Hit is a light nude and retails for $19. So this is Runway Hit and it's such a beautiful color. It is a retro matte and they are excellent. I also did get this clear cap from Amazon and yeah, it came 12 in a pack and I will link it down below. Next up we have Peach Stock. Peach Stock is a creamy beige peach that retails for $19. And this is Peach Stock. I definitely always wear this one with an eyeliner because if not, it's going to look kind of like foundation lips or concealer lips, which isn't the best, but this is Peach Stock. So next up, we have Sultry Move. Sultry Move is a bright rose brown that retails for $21. So this is Sultry Move. It is part of their Powder Kiss line and I love it. I cannot wait to get their Powder Kiss liquid lipsticks. <sighs> cannot wait. But this is just the bullet form and it is such a nice nude. It's just really nice for an everyday kind of lipstick. Next up we have Stay Curious. Stay Curious is a muted pinky red and retails for 
So this is how Stay Curious looks. It is a nice red tone color. You can definitely tone these colors down by blotting it on the lip, but I like to get the full effect. And sometimes I will blot it on the lip if I don't want in like an intense red or a deep shade because this isn't too intense of a red but it is a deeper shade on me so yeah stay curious next up we have mullet over mullet over is described as a dirty peach and retails for 21 dollars so this is mullet over and it is such a beautiful color it's my favorite shade out of all the powder kiss lipsticks that i have and it is just i don't know like it's not a nude but it's like an amplified nude for me it's just gorgeous next up we have mandarin o Mandarin O is described as a bright, creamy salmon pink and retails for $21. So this is Mandarin O and it is a bright kind of coral color. It's just a very fun color and I would definitely wear this on an everyday look. These Powder Kiss lipsticks are just so everyday friendly in my opinion and they glide on your lips so well. But yeah, this is Mandarin O. And the last shade is Devoted to Chili. Devoted to Chili is described as a warm brick red and retails for $21. And this is how Devoted to Chili looks. It is a burnt red. It's just a gorgeous color for a night out. And I love the name too. It's such a unique name. It's just... How can you not feel some type of way wearing this lipstick? Like, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So today I'm just going to swatch a little bit of everything. I do have some NYX lipsticks that I'm going to swatch first. So first up, we have Canis. All of NYX soft matte lip creams retail for $6.50. And this is how Canis looks. It is very soft on the lips, hence the name Soft Matte Lip Cream. And I really enjoy these. They're super tiny, so I do go through them pretty fast, but they're awesome. So next up we have this shade. I am not sure how to pronounce it. So this is how it looks. It is my favorite shade out of all their soft matte lip creams. I do want to try a few others, but for now, this is how it looks. Next up, we have the shade Sao Paulo. So this is how Sao Paulo looks. It is a kind of nice pinky red, kind of rosy red, I guess. Next up, I have some NARS lipsticks. This is the name. The shade is described as a rose pink and retails for $27. So this is how it looks. Honestly, I use this on like my no makeup makeup days because it just gives me a nice shine to my lips. It also looks kind of very neutral on me. So this is how it looks. So next up we have NARS Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita is described as a dusty rose and retails for $27. I thought it was gonna be more red, but it turns out to be more of a nudish, rosy color. Not bad. And it feels really nice on the lips, super soft, like plush. But yeah. Next up, we have NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Walk This Way. Walk This Way is described as a rose pink and retails for $26. And this is how Walk This Way looks. I personally really like it. And I do like the doe fit applicator on this one. It's kind of pointed. So you can get right in your lip line. So I like that. Yeah, this is Walk This Way. Next up, we have L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lightweight Matte Lip in I Empower. And retails for $11.99. And this is how I Empower it looks. It is a beautiful nude peach shade and also really enjoy the Doe Foot applicator. This formula on the lips feels super 
liquidy like <laughs> an initial start it feels like I just put water on my lips I don't really know how to explain myself but it's just a really nice formula and it does not dry out your lips and you could definitely use a lip liner with this I don't I really just like it like that I don't think it gives me that bad of concealer lips but one of my favorites from the drugstore. So next up we have Dose of Color Matte Liquid Lipstick in Bear With Me. Bear With Me is described as a peachy pink nude and retails for $18. So this is how Bear With Me looks. It does look drying on the lips. I thought I would be able to survive nine swatches but my lips are not having it. But this is how Bear With Me looks and it is a beautiful shade. I would recommend the Dose of Colors matte lipsticks for sure, but I also have this lipstick for a really long time, so I might just toss it because it might be about its time. Um, but I really do enjoy this shade. I used to wear it a ton. It is such a beautiful nude shade, so if you're looking into their lipsticks, I would definitely recommend them. Yeah. Bear with me. Next up, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Heathers. Heathers is described as a brownish ox blood and retails for $20. So this is how Heathers looks. I do have this liquid lipstick for quite a long time, so I probably should declutter it and get myself a new one because I really, really, really do enjoy this color. It is such a deep wine blood red and I love it for Halloween time for sure. Get me in there. This is the total vampy lip. I do enjoy this color so much. It is such a gorgeous color. And the last one finally is Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. Uncensored is described as the perfect universal red and retails for $25. So this is how Uncensored looks. It is a gorgeous, I'm talking about like beautiful, just breathtaking red and it is a true blue red and it looks beautiful on everyone but the formula is a little messy, I can say. Definitely when you're eating, this does not fade away with grace. It gets everywhere. I remember one time I was like, yeah, I'm gonna put some more on and I had it on my chin after eating a burger. I mean, maybe that happens with every red lip, so I could be mistaken, but this does not fade away with grace. You really have to take it off before eating because it will get mega messy. Everyone needs a good red, you know? But yeah, this completes my whole entire lip collection. It has been a long haul. This has been, I think like a week of me doing this. Because to be honest, I took some days in between. It was just it was too much. Like my lips are definitely feeling it. I don't wear lipstick all that often because I have dry lips, which sucks because I obviously have a lot. But yeah, I will put my lip glosses in another video. Yes, I have more. But I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and thank you for staying till the very end. I'm sorry that some of them were limited edition and are no longer available. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye. All my lip, wow. <laughs> okay, so next up, okay, it's not going to slide. Okay, no, it's not important, so. Fenty Beauty. <laughs>